And I'm here to talk to you today about what the Gaucher Association is, um, how we work with Rhapsody, and uh, basically what we hope to achieve from the study. And I'm going to give you a little bit of background about myself and my story. So, here we go. So, the Gaucher Association was formed in 1991, and it's the only registered UK charity providing support to individuals and families affected by the rare lipidosomal storage disorder called Gaucher's disease. Um, the association acts as a centre point for the Gosha community and works alongside medical professionals, scientists and pharmaceutical industries to meet our aims. Our aims include um, to support those individuals and their families affected by Gosha disease through our patient and family advocated services, to provide, to provide information and, uh, to patients and families regarding all aspects of Gosha's disease, um, to act as an advocate on behalf of patients and families to ensure access to the appropriate treatments and specialist care through um, centres in, in, of excellence in the UK are available. Uh, we aim to promote research in the causes, effects and treatments of the three Gaucher, types of Gaucher's disease and we aim to raise awareness and promote education in the medical profession of Gaucher's disease to improve diagnosis and the impacts of the condition on patients and family lives. So, the association is managed by a board of directors who volunteer their time and all have a personal connection with two Gaucher's disease. Um, they either have Gaucher's disease or they have a close family member affected by the condition. So, we work with Rhapsody, we've been working with Rhapsody since the early days of research back in 2011. Uh, the association uh, has worked with members of the community who are existing patients or ca carriers with the affected GBA gene, therefore at a high, slightly higher risk of Parkinson's disease. We assist them by, we review their patient information that's, that is supplied, ensuring all the material is suitable and balanced. We correspond with newly diagnosed and existing patients and carriers um, of the GBA gene in order to inform them of the study. Uh, we reassure patients and carriers of the GBA gene that whilst they are at a higher risk of Parkinson's disease, they should not be fearful of the future as the risk still remains small. So our view of the study is, we believe that the research is non-invasive and, and does not place a high burden on participants. Therefore, we encourage patients and carriers of the GBA gene to sign up for the research. And it, as shown previously, it is important to have a wide variety of participants involved in the research and it will affect the overall project and assist with future research in the future. Um, earlier detection of Parkinson's disease can ensure patients have the right treatment and care earlier, and meaning that they might be more eligible for clinical trials. So, who am I? I'm James Cox. I'm a digital friends at Analyst. I'm, on the board of I'm a board of trustees member at the Gaucher's Association. I'm 23 years old. I have type one Gaucher's disease, and I am a participant in the study. My story started when I was 10 years old. I had symptoms of a swollen knee. I had heavy nosebleeds. I used to bruise easy, and I used to suffer from night terrors. I originally thought it my, because of my knee. It was a sports injury, so I went to my local GP, and I saw a trainee GP who had not seen it before, so they contacted my local hospital to seek advice, and then the hospital asked for me to go there straight away that same day. On that day, I saw a newly qualified doctor who gave me an examination and they felt my stomach. They noticed I had an enlarged spleen. And that same day, I saw a consultant called Dr. Hire, who then referred me to Great Ormond Street Hospital. And the following weeks, I went there to their leukemia ward to have a bone marrow biopsy. After many further blood tests, I saw a blood doctor um, who told us they have identified some funny cells um, called Gosha cells in my bone marrow. After an appointment was made in the following weeks with Dr. Velodi and uh, Neve Finnegan, who was my clinical nurse specialist, I had further x-rays and scans, and a few weeks passed, and I was in the Kingfisher Ward of Great Ormond Street Hospital having serazine um, enzyme replacement therapy. I was now, now 11 years old with Gaucher's disease, having ERT. And this is my news article from back in December 2007. Um, a picture was taken of me having my ERT. I, the person I'm with is a person called Lee Mead, who was famous for playing Joseph in a West End musical, but at the time, he came up to me and said, do you know who I am? I just replied with, no, no idea. <laughs> so he gave me a picture of himself that was signed, and I got a picture and sent it off to the Gracia Association. So skipping forward 12 years, a lot has happened since my diagnosis. 
I was impacted by the serazine drug shortage and I was placed on a substrate drug and later moved to Vipriv. Um, we were actually one of the people who found the contaminants in one of our bottles and we got that sent off uh, for them to rectify the issues. Um, as of the beginning of last year, I'm no longer on ERT. I'm now on a drug called Sodelga, so I take a pill twice a day, which is a substrate drug. And it has such benefits on my life, one being that I don't have to have an infusion every two weeks and I can travel around the world more than two weeks at a time without having to come back home for an ERT, which couldn't have come around at a better time because I finished university and I was able to start my career and get the job I wanted. That um, means, I was, mean, means I had to travel a lot. Um, so why is this study important to me? After years of being on ERT, advancements thanks to research and studies helped create a better treatment for me in the form of a pill. I welcome this study as the understanding of the two genes may help advancements in treatment. So how I think we would achieve the goal, and as pointed out previously, is to have a wide variety of participants as possible. So that would be patients, carriers, and their family members. So those of you on um, the, the study right now and our patients, or um, I advise you to ask your family to get involved and help, help us out. I understand uh, there's a refreshments break coming up as well next, but if anyone has any questions now or if anyone wants to approach me and ask questions, but please do.